Well, hello folks. I had to ask myself one question while I was picking out a game. I think it's time for us to go on adventure. Seeing as we've been all cooped up in, in our houses for about a year and a half, I think it's time to go on a big adventure, to go into the great unknown, and to experience something big past our little, small little towns, our small world towns. But... I give you guys my Kamo plays of Pokemon Emerald. So guys, in the last year and a half or so, I know we guys we've all been cooped up, and I think it's time to go on a big adventure. I think it's time uh, to go into the great beyond and to do something that I like to do best, and that's to always go for the biggest challenge. And Life is always about overcoming obstacles, and this, and as I've dealt with that the last year and a half in my life for the last three years, I think it's time to show just, you know, how this game, and like many others like it, have helped me overcome my challenges to be the best, to improve myself, to improve myself, to be the best like no one ever was, so, and Pokemon games seem to always do that, so, um, so, so yeah, I've been thinking about this one for a while, and I think it's time. So, I think it's time for something big, folks. So, let's, um, let's delve into the, uh, the world. I'm, now, I think it's time to do this. So I think it's time to get this started. So, I think I want, so... Come along with me, guys. Take a walk with me, and let's play this awesome game, and I'm going to make it fun. So, without further ado, I give you Pokemon Emeralds. Let's jump right in. Alright, new game. Now, you guys can do options. I'm going to do this. Text is going to be fast. Um, Balancing on. Sounds mono. Frame type 1. Let me see what I'm going to do. I could go with the old classic frames, but I'm going to do, um, there's 20 types of frames. I'm going to do this one instead. All right, new game. As with every Pokemon game, we have a Pokemon professor. Let's see. All right, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone here calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call Pokemon. This world is inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together to battle each other as like us. Despite our closeness, we don't understand everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are. Alright, so you can either pick the boy or the girl. But I'm going to pick the boy. Right, what's your name? So, I thought this long and hard, and I'm not going to do my own name because... This would just be 40 hours of me um, saying come out over and over again. You guys know the joke by and all that. So so I thought this long and hard. My guy's name is going to be you. You, Kai. Oh. You, Kyle. That's going to be the name of my guy. So it's Yukio, or Yukio. You guys can say Yukio, Yukio. It's, it's going to be tomato motto. You guys are going to find out this is going to become a pun later on. Yeah, because I didn't want to do Kamo, because it would be like, oh, Kamo, can you do this? Kamo, can you do that? Um, 
this is not me. So for storage purposes, I'm going to do it that way. Okay, fine. You're you, Kyle. You, you, you're you, Kyle, who's moving into my hometown. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon adventure is about to unfold. Take courage. Leap into the world of Pokemon where your dreams and adventure and friendships await. I'll be expecting you later. Come see me at my Pokemon lab. And we shrink. And we start this game by being in the back of a truck. Obviously our mother entrusted, entrusted us to... Obviously our mother entrusted us to watch the... Uh, Watch the belongings. Oh, that could be dangerous. This is a, this is a, um, this is a dresser. This could have come, this, they could have taken one sharp corner, but, so yeah. I'm not going to do Chugga Corner's, um, child roof story. Yo, Kyle, we're, new Kyle, we're here. We're here, honey. It must be tiring running, running and playing with our things in the moving truck. Yeah, mom, I almost got crushed by a dresser. Well, this is Little Road Town. How would you like it? This is our new home. It is a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Most small towns are, actually. No, I'm from a small town, actually. And you get your own, your own, you, Kyle. Let's go inside. All right, so this is the first part of the game. See, isn't it nice here, too? The movers Pokemon all, do all the work work moving in and cleaning up after. It's so convenient. Yo, Kai, your room is upstairs. Please check out, please check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to mark the move here. Don't forget to set it. All right, so right here, you're gonna notice these are Vicarots and Ruby and Sapphire, those were Machokes. And the reason why I called him Yukio is because it's, All right, so as you guys know, all right, so one one little trick: boot up the PC, item storage, withdraw item. There's always going to be a potion. Doesn't matter what generation. Well, actually, not generation four because the PC system got got taken out. All right, so and there's a Nintendo Switch. All right, so this is Hoenn. So this is the region we're in. This is Kyoshio, Kyoshio and its islands. This is Kyoshio basically turned, if you guys turn any Hoenn map 90 degrees, it's gonna be, I forget if it's up or down, but this is Southern Japan. So it's west of Johto and Kanto, but it, and it is, it, and it's far, in the farthest north is Kanto. So, all right, we're gonna set the clock. It is 10.26 p.m. Because I have it on the bottom screen there. The clock has stopped. Better, better set it up and start it. Alright, so I forget how you do this. Alright, it's now p.m. Come on. It takes forever. All right, that's nine o'clock. Ten. Ten twenty-six. This is actually going to play. Is that the correct time? Yes, it is. You coyote, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything's been put away neatly. You're finished with move. You're finished moving everything downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. You should make sure that everything is is on your desk. It's only the adventure rolls, which for new time players. Oh yeah, by the way, you can also do this. By the way, you can go on your bed. Unfortunately, you cannot heal. You Kyle, you Kyle, come quick, quick, come quickly. Look, it's look, it's Petalbird Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. I'm right you with this report from the front of Petalbird Jim. Oh, it's over. 
I think Dad is on. I think Dad is on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Perpetua purchases his name. He lives right next door. She should go over and introduce yourself. And hello, and hello, you are. Da -da -da -da. Oh, here you, Kayo. Uh, our new next door neighbor, hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter is, is excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. So you, so you, so it doesn't matter. So you can touch the GameCube and all this other stuff. And the adventure rules and all this other stuff, but you touch the Pokeball and May appears. Huh? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, here you. <clears throat> oh, here you, Kayo. So you, so your move is, so your move is, was your move was today? Hi, I'm May. Good to meet you. I have a dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I hear about you, you kind of from, from my dad, Professor Birch. I think that's gonna be the May vo May voice. I was hoping that we would be nice, would be nice, you Kyle. That you would be nice, you Kyle, and we could be friends. Oh, isn't that silly? D? I've just met you, you Kyle. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to help Dad catch some uh, Pokemon. You Kyle, catch you later. No, you didn't quite. You ain't quite, you're not quite helping. So if we go out here, we cannot run just yet, unfortunately. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot how to, there's Max in this? Max here? Yeah. Nope, I don't have my Pokemon. In um, Ruby and Sapphire, he'd have, he would have glasses. Um, um, hi. There's some scary Pokemon stars. I can hear their cries. I want to go see, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? Sure. Help me. Help me. Cool, you there. Please, help. It's in my bag. There, there's a Pokeball. Alright, so here are the starters. Alright, so... I played all these games, so... I'll tell you what you guys are getting. So, Trico is more about special attack and speed. Torchic is just an all-around hitter. He has good, he has good HP, good defense, good special defense, really decent speed, um, can hit hard. And Mudkip, usually is pretty tanky, pretty tanky, can hit hard, does very good with special and stuff like that, um, but it's very, very slow. I'm actually going to choose Mudkip because I actually played with Trico and um, Torchic. And Zigzagoon. Now, my kip is offense based, so tackle is going to do a lot of damage. So are you, but you're going to go down. Oh, oh I was in the, in the tall grass starting wild Pokemon, wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, oh hi, are you, are you Kyle? This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab here. Alright, so we're gonna go back. So are you Kyle. I've never heard so, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way, the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. And yes, as a thanks for rescuing me, I like to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And I use Mudkip. I do actually. Um, 
Uh, let's see. What do I want to have my Kip's name be? Because he's, well... Muddy water, maybe water, water because he's grab because he gets a sub ground type later on. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, then you I think you'll make a very good, extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon, helping me out. You Kyle, don't you think it might be good to see May? Yep, great. May should be happy to see you too. Get me to teach you what it is, means to be a trainer, even though May has barely any experience and more than us, so. And now that you have Pokemon, you can rest. Take care, honey. Alright, Mom, I'm going to the great beyond. All right, folks. Let's uh, let's go. Let's get Yukio out of here. All right. So you can't. You can battle Pokemon, but you can't use any yet. So. This is Old Dale Town. So you can go to the. So you can go to the Pokemon Center. You basically can give your Pokemon to Nurse Joy, whoever this nurse is, um, and do that. So let's, let's explore Odell Town. Yep, that's true. They become stronger. Oh yeah, by the way, this is kind of funny. Ah, oh, wait, don't don't come through here. I just discovered footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I'm finished sketching them, okay? And I'm gonna give you a. Um, I'm gonna just. I always do this. You can. Oh, what do you got? Yes, you are right. So he's actually right. Um, the battle, and here's the Mart. So you, you can't buy much at this point. You can buy potions. I already have one, so I'm not really gonna be. Um, So, your, our main objective is to go up here. Where are the wise heal before this battle? Oh, wait a second. All right, so if this is Poochiana, we cannot, unfortunately. Actually, I actually have a potion, so I can technically help out. Go crit. Muddy Watar. I'm actually. I'm actually. <laughs> My name is Genius. I gotta tell you. Uh, and those are the stats. So, let me go over stats right here. So, you're gonna max HP. So, for those of you who played Gen 1, this looks a little different to you. It does. So, max HP is, of course, max HP you get before, you know, the amount of hit points before you go down, before you can faint and then attack is how much your physical attacks will do 
defense is how much your physical unless you resist physical attacks and special attack is how much you can do damage with your special moves like surf special defense is how you can take special moves like thunder and stuff like that but um my kip is definitely going to do good in attack and defense and hp but his speed's not going to be as great and i learned mud slap that's important So that's May. Now, before I get to her, I'm gonna heal up. And here's another Puchino. It's level freaking two. Alright, so I'm gonna battle this. I'm not gonna use Mud Slap, unfortunately, because I don't need it. So, what I'm going to do now I do have a save option. I'm 15 minutes in. It can't be right. Alright, so I'm going to face May right here. Let's see. This Pokemon found a right I'm probably to write one of three clue. Oh, hi, you, Kyle. I see my dad give you po my po gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since you're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what a trainer is really like. And I just had to look the word in there. All right, so a lot of people are going to say, oh, you've been a trainer for two seconds. Now you're gonna notice. Now I'm lucky he doesn't have a grasp type move because now he, she could get a critical. But unfortunately, we got that. Trico goes down. I gained 69 experience and a level. You see how my uh, defense just went up by two points. I got 300 for beating for beating you. I think I know why my dad has an eye of you now. I mean, you could you just got that Pokemon it already likes you. You might be able you might be able to print any Pokemon easily. Wait, well it's time to head back to the lab. Alright, I'm gonna go head back to the lab. Does this guy still do his thing? Yeah. I just discovered the rift roots of a rift Pokemon. Waiting until um Yukio over here. Let's hurry home. May reminds me May reminds me of a friend of mine, by the way. Can you guess which one? Oh, she reminds me of my friend April. Very Always challenge me at every corner and always making me better, of course. So, yeah. Alright, so. Okay, so. You guys notice Trico went down pretty easily. Even though he's fast. Even though. But you notice he got a lot more attacks off than I did. Oh, well, that's going to be a pain in the neck as, as it evolves. Oh, hi, you, Kyle. I heard you beat me on your first try. That's excellent. If you lose that and you restart and you beat them, the tax is covering for you and that's no good. May has been helping me with my research for a long time. May already has an extensive history as a trainer. Here you go, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex and receive the Pokedex. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, it records data in the Pokedex. Why, it looks like way while I'm, while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Wow, you cow, you got a Pokedex too. It's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Then we got Pokeballs. 
it's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm gonna look all over the place if you want to try different Pokemon. If if you find a cute Pokemon, I'll catch them. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. All right, so. What I'm gonna do, uh, so what am, what am I Pokemon like? Okay, I have to heal. So what I'm gonna do is, ooh. Wait, you Kaio. Hey, you Kaio. You Kaio, you Kaio. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Wait, that's an adorable Pokemon. I got, you got from Professor Birch, how nice. You're your father's child, all right? And you look good together with your Pokemon. Here, honey, I'm going to, if you're going on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll, they'll put a zip to your step. And we got the and Yukio got the running shoes. Yep. All right. So you can if you press B. So if you press B, you can do this. Okay. All right. So. Alright, so I'm going to end it here, guys. Um, so, I'm actually going to show you the Pokedex real quick. I'm going to show you what... Oh, I didn't heal my dude. I'll heal him off screen. So, I'll show you guys what the stats... What all the stats do. So, okay, so... I'm the original trainer. So, it is torn for its ability, and it... Ups water moves in a pinch. All right, so this these are its stats. It's not gonna. This is not like later generations where it says, "Oh, this stat it's stronger than this stat, stronger than that stat." It's not gonna do that. But what what will do is it will tell you what your power, what the what your attack powers are. And this is later for contests. I won't. I'll get into that at some other point. But not right now. But for right now, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, by the way. So this is your that's your trainer card and your Pokedex. This is what the home Pokedex looks like in in Diamond and uh, in uh, Ruby and Sapphire. So we only have Trico, which was her Pokemon, and we also have Mudkip. Buchania and Zigzagoon. So we've seen four and we've saved four. So next time, what I'm thinking of doing, guys, is I'm thinking of catching some Pokemon and I might need for my journey. I'm gonna, I've looked up team members, but I just gotta go over a couple things. So we won for the Pokedex, which is technically our starter. So hopefully, in the next time in the adventures of Yukio. So in the next time, in the great adventures of Yukio or Yukio, whatever you want to call him, we're going to be tackling Route 101, Route 101, and then we're going to tackle our way to, I believe, the Petalburg Forest is coming up next, and then we'll go to Petalburg. So that'll be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, first episode, and I will see you guys for episode two. With the zigzagoon cry. So everybody, good day. See you guys in episode two soon.